Are you guys tired of seeing my Amigurumi bear dressed up? I sure hope not because we have one more look for him today. Hey guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society and today we're dressing up Biggs the Bear one more time with this fringe scarf. It's a super simple scarf to make and we will walk through it quickly because then you can dress up any amigurumi that you like and it just adds a little bit of cuteness, more cuteness than you already have. We're gonna go over a few supplies and then we'll get started. We are going to grab some supplies. So we're gonna grab some yarn. I like to use the yarn that I made my amigurumi in. So in my case, it's Comfy Worsted Yarn by Knit Picks. But if you made your ami in a DK or even a bulky weight yarn, use that size yarn that you use. We're gonna grab some scissors. We're gonna grab a hook that you use to make your amigurumi. And in my case, it's a size E. You can either use the exact hook size that you use to make your amigurumi or use one right around there. We are gonna grab a yarn needle, an optional stitch marker. And here's my little friend, Briggs the Bear and he's gonna be my model today. Grab your hook and yarn and an optional stitch marker. We're gonna start out by making a slip knot in chains and I have a separate video if you'd like to go a little slower. We're gonna make a slip knot by wrapping the yarn around two fingers, crisscrossing at the top. Push that back piece to the front and pull up to make your loop. You can use your tail to adjust your loop. I'm gonna insert my hook and I am going to grab the amigurumi that I'm going to make the scarf for because we are going to measure as we crochet. So I'm just gonna grab him. I'm gonna start out with about 15 chains, so you can do that as well unless your amigurumi is smaller than mine. You can customize your scarf for the amigurumi that you have. So here I'm just chaining at 15 and then I'll grab Briggs and do a quick measurement. I can see here I still have a little bit more to go, so I'm going to add a few more chains and then I'll remeasure again. You can do the same with your amigurumi. So here I have about 20 chains and I just need like two or three more, so I'm going to add just a couple more and then remeasure. I'm going to put it around his neck and from here I am like right on the money. So this is 22 stitches for me. So you go ahead, chain as many as you need to fit around your animal's neck. For a regular fringe scarf, all I like to do is find my original measurement and then times it by two. So I got 22 stitches total. I'm going to add 22 more to make a total of 44 stitches. This scarf is only going to be two rounds of single crochet across, so it's a really simple scarf. The only difference that I do is I don't work into that top chain. I work into that back bump of the second chain from the hook, and I'm gonna show you it here. If you flip your work over a little bit, there's this little bump in the back and I work into that bump. Here's my second chain from the hook and I'm gonna flip my work and I'm gonna find that bump that's right here. If this is really uncomfortable for you, you can do the top chain from the hook, that's totally fine. You can add a stitch marker if you'd like, if that helps you out. And then you can continue single crocheting into each of the back bumps of this row. Working in the back bump just gives you a nicer edge on your work. So as you can see here, you can see my V's on the bottom. And then when I'm done, I'll have my V's from my single crochet on the top. I'm gonna continue to single crochet into each of the back bumps, and then I will meet you back at the end of the row to show you what we'll do next. I'm reaching the last few stitches here. I'm still working into my back bumps. Here is my last bump. I'm gonna work into that stitch. From here, we are going to chain one. We're gonna turn our work. We're gonna ignore that little chain stitch and we're gonna single crochet right into that first stitch. All we're going to do is just single crochet all the way down the row until we reach our stitch marker. We're reaching our last stitches here, and I know this is my last stitch because our stitch marker is there, so I'm gonna take this out, and we are just going to add our last single crochet. You can leave a long piece of yarn, and we're just gonna fasten off. I'm gonna yarn over and pull it all the way through. If you wanted to have this as just a plain scarf with no fringe, you could just weave in both of your ends, and then you would be done. If you wanna make some fringe, we'll do that next. Since I'm adding some fridge, I'm gonna leave these tails be. I'm not gonna weave them in. They can stick out just a little bit, so if you don't like that look, you can weave in your ends, but I'll show you that and you can decide. I'm gonna cut a few pieces of yarn, about three inches or so, three to four inches long. 
You can grab your hook, place your hook underneath the stitch of the end of your scarf. Place your hook under both loops of your stitch. Grab that piece of yarn down the middle. Using your hook, you can pull that all the way through, and then you could just yarn over and pull through both of those ends. Pull tight at the base of that, and that is one fringe done. You can move over with your hook, and then a different way to pull this through is to go into the middle of that piece of yarn, pull it through, make a large loop on one side, and pull your end through that loop. You can tighten that up at the base of your fringe. And then you can see here that this piece that we didn't weave in just kind of sticks out a little bit. So I'm gonna add one more fringe on my other side just to kind of match it up. If you don't like it sticking out like that, you can definitely weave that piece of yarn through and just add in the fringe as you like. We added our last piece of fringe and this one kind of matches up with our other side, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a haircut so it's all the same size. And what I like to do is make my fringe look a little bit curly. If you wanna give that curly look, you can just unravel your strands of yarn and pull your pin through. This separates those little strands and gives it a little bit of a curly look. You would do the same exact thing on the other side, add your fringe, curl it out if you'd like, give it a little haircut, and then you'll be done with your scarf. Here is our finished scarf. We added the fringe, we curled it out a little bit, and now we're gonna place it on Briggs. Because he is a shorty, this scarf will be a tad bit longer on him, but I actually like the look. And if you wanted, you could always cut the fringe to be a little bit shorter. And the best thing about this is if you had a shorter amigurumi and you didn't like it this long, you can just add less chains and customize it to the size of your amigurumi. And here he is, he's ready to hit the town with his new scarf. Just to give you another look, here's my friend Gerald. He is by my friend Holly of Storyland Amis. He's my little mascot, but surprisingly enough, when I measured around his neck with the worsted yarn, he was also 22 stitches. So it's kind of funny because look how different they are in size, but they require the same amount of stitches. So here I'll show you how this would look on him. Now I would use a bulky yarn for him, not a worsted, but still you could see that the scarf lands kind of in the middle of his belly and it still looks really cute. I'd possibly add a few more rows since he is a giraffe and his neck is really long, but just to give you an idea of how you could customize a scarf for different amigurumi. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs and head over to yarnsociety.com for free crochet patterns.